Hey everyone, this is Will from uh, Die and Breed Garage, and today we are looking at an original, unrestored 1987 Oldsmobile 442. A little background on this car I bought it from the widow of the original owner who bought it and pretty much put it away. It's got 14,000 miles, original. And when I bought it, it even had the original tires, and the only thing that was changed was the battery, pretty much. So I freshened it up, put everything I had to do, change the fluids, tires, brakes, to make it drivable. Pretty interesting history on a 442. The G-bodies were so popular back in the 80s. And... The 442 was overshadowed by the Monte Carlo SS, of course the Grand National. From the 83 to 87, there was eight shy of 18,000 of these cars built. That's including the Hearst Olds. And just to put it in perspective, in 87, there was 20,000 plus Grand Nationals built. So these cars, and I remember when they were new, you really didn't see a lot of them. You did, but it was few and far between. And I've always had a love for these cars because they were different. It wasn't a Me Too car, and it had its own swagger. Uh, it had its own engine, 307 HO, and it actually shared the rear differential the Grand National and it rides really really nice and a very very weird fact is that it came with factory air shocks which a lot of people don't even think that that's even possible but I'll show you right here right there is the factory valve pump up your shocks and the nice thing I like about it too is that it doesn't have the grand rational 85 mile an hour speedometer fuel gauge and boost it has a tack it has gauges and I'm going to show you now got a 120 mile an hour speedometer full gauge package fully loaded <clears throat> four speed automatic and in today's traffic it holds up pretty nice it's got 373s out back so at around 70 miles an hour and it revs about three grand and it seems very happy there so, this car, like everything these days, is going up crazy in prices. I feel fortunate that I was able to buy it without breaking my bank. And I plan to, uh, to keep it. I don't plan to flip it or anything. That's not what I'm about. I'm about enjoying the cars that I'm fortunate enough to get and that I've had for many years. And in future videos, I will definitely show them. So like I said, this is a quick video just to show you a car that wasn't really popular back in the 80s, but I think it's gaining its own, and I really think that people were going to really like it. And I enjoy it, and I hope you enjoy it, so if you can... Let me know what you think, what you want to see more of. Please like, subscribe, share, all that stuff that they usually say. And honestly, I'm not doing this for money or anything. I just want to show everybody cars that I think that should be loved and enjoyed and cared for. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.